welcome to today's tip. Now I've got a really simple but cute little card here to make. All you're going to need is some watercolours, some, um, a pencil, a rubber and maybe some gold or silver pens but you could use pencil or black pen as well for that part. I have used a pencil there and sketched out some balloons. Now it did take me a while because I was wanting to get the shape right and everything and one thing I recommend if you don't feel confident drawing straight onto a piece of paper like that is to just sketch it, trace it through some tracing paper. And then what you're going to need to do is if you've got a nice thin watercolour brush, just start building up some really, really vibrant colours. So I've got a lovely purple here that I'm going to start off with. And then what you want to do is sort of let the watercolour um, build up a little bit of sort of pigment around the edge okay so nice and light with the water in the middle but lots of lovely pigment around the edge. Now one other thing that I highly recommend with this is to move your paper to you'll get a feel for which angle works for you and as you move your paper around, you'll get a lovely steady grip on the areas that work well for you. Okay, now I need to build that pigment up because I've got my shape right, but now my pigment's gone. So I'm just going to work down one side and just slowly add just a nice thicker bit like that. And what that does is sort of creates like a, a shadow because they're shiny. Now the second thing to note when doing this is you wait for that balloon to completely dry until you start on the next one. If you don't, the colours will bleed in together and you don't want that, okay? So you want to let that one dry and then build over the top. Now once you're happy that they are completely dry, then you can start moving over to the ones that are going to join it. And what you will find is, let me just make sure I've got the colour that I want is that you will need to sort of find your pencil line. You should still be able to see it even on the darker sides and follow that line and you'll be painting directly over the top. And if it's completely dry, it won't mix. It will just layer and it looks fantastic. It looks exactly as a balloon would be if you could just see behind the other balloons. So it's, it's a perfect way to um, to have your balloon in a nice bunch for your cards. Okay, so I have completely let that dry. Well, I've used my heat tool on it um, and they've come out beautifully. I really, really love that. That blue wasn't as thick as I wanted to, so I might go over and put another layer there. But before I do, let me just show you a couple of options. Now, what we could do is get our rubber and just get rid of all of those pencil lines if we don't want them. And what we can do is either go back in with like a a gold pen or a silver pen, just to funk it up a little bit. I quite like this gold, so I'm going to sort of draw these gold lines and I'm not too worried that they've gone over the other shapes as well. And I might even add a few little gold tinges to the corner of some of those balloons where the sun just hits the light of the corner of them. And all we need now is a lovely little happy birthday because this is going to be a happy birthday card. I think I'm going to do that in black along the bottom here. And Bob's your uncle. What a beautiful card. I hope you can see that there. You might want to add some stars or some sparkles or I'll show you another one that I did that was a bit thicker. Looking at them now, they're pretty similar actually, aren't they? Um, some of the watercolours have got more pigment in than others. So I hope you've enjoyed this tip and I look forward to seeing you next time.